Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can add a calendar in a SharePoint site page. So in a modern SharePoint site, either in the home page or you can create different pages and we will see three different ways to do it or to display calendar in a, in a, in a page. The first approach is you can use a events web part second one we can use group calendar web part and third approach i will show you how we can use a custom list custom sharepoint list to display a calendar in a modern sharepoint site we will practically see all the steps in in a sharepoint site i will show you in the laptop here and uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe it so that you will get all the videos notifications whatever i'll make uh, on sharepoint power platform and spfx and also if you are new to this sharepoint then recently i created videos on how we can create different sites how we can do customization of a sharepoint site those things also you can have a look at it i'll put the links in the video description so now let's go to the system and i will show you step by step how we can use all this uh, all these different methods to display calendar on a SharePoint site. I said now I'll show you uh, the three ways that we can add calendar to the SharePoint site practically here. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe it so that uh, it will also be a motivation for me where I will make more videos uh, like this. So now these are the three ways uh, that I said, you know, we will see how we can add an event web part and then group calendar web part. And also I'll show you how we can display a calendar by using a normal custom SharePoint list. Okay, so now let me open the SharePoint site. Now you can see here, this is a SharePoint site. And in this first thing we'll do is we'll create a page here. Now let's I'll create a page on this and I'll just take a blank page. I'll say create this page. I'll give a name for it. Let's say I'll say calendar uh, calendar demo on this, right? So I'll just publish it. I'm not doing anything. I'll publish it. So first thing we'll see is the uh, event web part. So that means I'll be able to add this event web part onto this uh, particular page. So I will click here. I will just make two column layout and on this I'll look over here and then i will select event web parts you can see it here before that let me first show you one thing now i'll open the site again i'll go to the site content page we will just see what are the things which are exist on this this is quite interesting so you can see here i'll go to the site content page here uh go here site content in the site content page you can see here i have document libraries and couple of list and a page library now look what will happen. I'll click on event. I have added this event uh, on this web, on the event web part into this page only. I'll just republish it. Okay, I have not I have not created any event or anything. Now I'll just refresh this page. Now when I refresh this page, you can see here it created a events list web part. Uh, sorry, events list. Now if you click on this, you can see here this is a probably if you are working in the classic SharePoint site you will see the events list how it looks like now on this you can click over here and then you can add an event onto it for example let's say I'll say team meeting and uh, I'll just I'll not put anything I'll just click on save you can see here I have created an event for this I'll go back to, to this space and here I'll just refresh it I'll be able to see I have an event on this also here you can see there's a add plus add event button is there so once you click this you can see now how it appearing so i'll say team uh, holiday discussion something like that and uh, you can see here you can put anything you can uh, say something test event you can add the participant on this suppose i'll add this you can add multiple people also so if you want you can add like this now this is the new interface where you can create an event i'll click on save now once you click on save now you can see here this is the event which got created if you'll go back to the page now i'll just go back to the pages library i'll open this page here now this is the page calendar demo which we created now you'll see here another event got created now if i'll go to the previous list events list i'll refresh it then you'll be able to see that the event is saved here so that means here it is creating the or it is saving all your events into this particular list but you will see a different interface when you will open or when you will click here and click or try to add an event now i'll tell you 
that even if I'll go here, I will uh, create many pages and I will try to add more events to uh, more events to a part into it. Still, it will use only that list. So it will not create additional list like the point here is even if i'll add another or uh, let's say event web part into this page it will not create more list like this it will use the same events list right so this is one way where you can uh, you know display a calendar into a page now let me show you the second option so second option we have is the group calendar so you can click over here there is a group calendar web part you can see selected so once you select it you will be able to see all the past and present events again this is for the group it will just edit it you can see here the group it is saying that is uh you know sp guides if you are not a part of this group and you are trying to create event for this then it will not allow you saying that uh, this group is deleted or something like that but ideally it is maybe you need to check whether you are a part of that group or not right so uh, next what you'll do is you can uh, uh you can just you can see there is a option which is saying create a meeting or let me just replay uh publish it so you can see here right create a meeting so once you click on create a meeting you see here it is opening the uh you know the calendar now if you'll see here i will click on this and then you see here this group is selected i'll say here test event right and then uh, you can put any text or description or anything that you have the option to choose you can add the you uh, know attendees all these things click on save so you see here i have added one event into this particular group you can see here this is my group calendar in the left side now i'll go here i'll refresh this i should be able to see this event now here on this page now you can see here the on the upcoming event it is coming if you want to anytime sync it so you can click on this button so it will pick all the meetings over here you don't need to manually refresh the page so that is also possible that means if you are creating any event on this you go here and just sync it it will the events will be displayed here so this is another way how we can use a group calendar uh, you know web part to display or to create uh, some event and then you can display in this home page the last option I'll show you is how we can use a custom list to display a calendar in the SharePoint site page or in a modern site. So let me just open this. Now you can see here this is the same SharePoint site and if I'll go to event tracker, this is a custom list which I created and it has a few items on this. And if you look at this, it has a title column, a location column having some choice values and there is a people picker for event manager department and then a two columns are there which is the start date and end date. This is very important because when we will create a uh, you know view for it calendar view for it it will ask us to enter this uh, this uh, date column so uh, now what i'll do is here is i'll go to um, click new view and then you can see here i'll give a view name so i'll say let's say team uh, calendar something like this and then i'll choose this uh, uh, calendar view and the layout i'll choose in this case is let's say month layout i will choose the columns i was talking about you should have a two date columns where you can use uh, the event start date and end date so you can see your start date of the it is start date column and end date will be the end date column this is a public view and if you go to the more option you can see here there is a title column so click on create so now if you'll see here now this view is got created and uh, in this case you can see here this these are the items which we created and this is how it is appearing on this uh, last thing what we will do here is i will uh, uh, click on this set current view as default view so now what will what i will do here is you can i'll go to the page where i wanted to display this so in this page basically i'll click on edit and i'll click on this and here i will select the list web part you can see here and i will select my list in this case it is event tracker list and once i did it you can see here the team calendar view is opening and i can see the events as well you can just republish it and you can see this is your uh, calendar that you can see in this modern page so this way you can you can simply create a calendar view and then you can uh, you should be able to see display or add a calendar to a sharepoint modern page okay so this is these are the three ways that we discussed how we can uh, display a calendar in a sharepoint modern site now 
uh, if you like this video kindly subscribe to the channel and also you can put in the comments if you want any specific video on that and i'll make sure that i'll make it power platform videos are coming very soon so uh, subscribe to the channel so that you will get notified whenever i'll make videos on it thank you and have a nice day